Let's go over some Spurs news and notes and then ask, should the Spurs go and chase LeBron James? You are Locked On Spurs, your daily San Antonio Spurs podcast, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hey, welcome back to Locked On Spurs. We're here on the Locked On NBA Network. I'm your host, Jeff Garcia, Spurs writer for Kansas 5 San Antonio. As always, glad to have you all back. Happy Friday, everybody. Hope you all are having a great end of the work week. Weekend is here, but we'll finish it off strong right here on Locked On Spurs. As always, we thank you for making Locked On Spurs your first listen every single day. Free and available wherever you get podcasts by Plus App, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify. The list goes on and on. We appreciate you every single day. Hey, Monopoly Go. This show is brought to you by Monopoly Go. We got to talk more about Monopoly Go. This fast-paced game lets you team up with friends for tournaments to unlock awesome prizes, unique stickers for trading, cool playing pieces, and hilarious emojis uh, for taunting friends. Go download Monopoly Go right now for free on Google Play, App Store, or wherever you get your favorite apps and game on. So what are we talking about today? We're going to go over some quick Spurs news and notes and then bring in our guest, Vinny Vincetta, my colleague at Ken's 5. We're going to be discussing if the Spurs should chase LeBron James. Vegas thinks the Spurs have decent odds of best, but we'll discuss about that. And then talk about you guys, Locked On Spurs fans, comments. What are y'all talking about? We'll discuss that in just a few seconds. But first, some quick Spurs news and notes. And heads up, everybody. Uh, it is May, and that means the release of Victor Wimbanyama's sneakers are right around the corner. That's right. His first ever player exclusive colorway from Nike, the Nike Zoom GT Hustle 2, will be out soon in just a few short days, May 15th to be exact. And uh, basically, it's the kind of looks like the Nike foam posit um, kind of vibe to it. But it has a black and uh, kind of a very dark green uh, look colorway. Obviously, it didn't go with his alien, you know, whole thing there. You know, the nickname that LeBron James gave him. Uh, again, the public release is set for this month. And it is going to be on May 15th. Now, the sticker price is 170 bucks. So just a heads up on that. Again, that is the, the Wimby Nike Zoom GT Hustle 2 PE Player Edition. That's what that stands for. Alien. So, yeah, it's inspired by Wimby. It is out. Uh, again, uh, I'm looking at a picture of it right now. And, uh, yeah, dominantly black. It has, like, it looks like the Galaxy, like a green Galaxy kind of vibe to it going on there. Uh, but definitely, I know a lot of Spurs fans are going to be getting it. So this is the month. Go to your local stores, online store, whatever you got to do. It's going to be dropping later this month. Again, Victor's uh, PE, Nike PEs are coming out. Get ready. In other Spurs news, I had a chance to uh, speak with Blake Wesley before the, well, pretty much when the season was over at the post-game uh, conference chat after the last game versus Detroit. And we talked a lot about what he expects to do in the offseason. And uh, he had a lot of stuff to say. You know, um, it was a good little chat with him. He told me that he's focusing, obviously, on his three ball. We know that needs to get improvement. He recognizes it. I think everybody kind of knows that numbers don't lie. We see it. But he also talked about learning about decision making, uh, obviously staying in, in shape. So, yeah, he has a lot on his plate. He wants to get better at enough. He's in, he got a lot of praise from Devin Vassell to Coach Popovich about his defense. He wants to shore that up as well. He ended the, my chat with him uh, um, by saying year three is going to be good. So a lot of good things are coming from Blake Wesley. Again, if you want to read that uh, interview I had with him, you want to go to kensfi.com slash Spurs right now. It's titled Spurs Blake Wesley is eager to build upon his improved sophomore season. Go check it out. And finally, now you may notice I'm wearing kind of the shirt right now. You know, y'all are used to me wearing a cap and uh, the blue hoodie. Uh, but I decided to wear this today. Uh, this is actually a, a part of a clothing line that the Spurs uh, have launched uh, last season. And obviously it's still available now. You want to go to the Spurs shop online. It's their Por Vida line. I'm pretty sure you all can see this. It says Por Vida right here. It's uh, obviously the, the shade is blue. But my point is this is part of a new uh, clothing line that's uh, been, been out for a while. I want to say it's new, but it's been around for at least for this past season. This is part of the, again, the Por Vida collaboration. Okay. Now, Spurs, very thankfully, helped me out with some notes. So I want to give it to y'all in case y'all are interested in getting this. Again, it's on the Spurs shop right now. Um, 
the idea here is not just to kind of highlight the Spurs or, or them, but just highlight San Antonio. It's kind of like an homage to San Antonio. Okay. They use made in Texas apparel garments. Okay. And they combine it with the vibe of San Antonio. Uh, in this case, like right now, I'm wearing, this is actually a, a Dickies brand shirt. Now it's not a Dickies collaboration, but again, the hard working people of San Antonio, Dickies is known for that. Uh, again, it's not a Dickies collaboration, but again, that's the idea. They want to honor San Antonio. Now, the idea behind the collaboration, the Provida collaboration, is the, a focus on the 23 hours and 12 minutes in a day where Spurs basketball isn't being played, but is lived throughout the daily lives of San Antonio, the fans, the, the pretty much just the fan base, and as we all know, as the Spurs family, hence, you know, remember the hashtag Por Vida, uh, all that stuff. Yeah, they really want to focus that in on that, and that's what the brand does, the um the collaboration is nice. Uh, I mean, I, I I noticed it during the season. I, I would go to the fan shop and just to see what's new there when I would go uh, to the games on Press Row. But I said, you know what, before the game started, let me go check out what's going on at the shop. And I saw it and I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, this is new. So fortunately, I, I, I was given one of these. And let me tell you, it fits great. I like the feel. You know, um, for a Dickies brand, uh, at least fabric material, it fits very, very snug, very well. It's not, it's not stifling. It's not itchy. It's very smooth, very comfortable, very relaxed fabric. Uh, I think you will like it. Um, I can't turn around right now because I'm sitting down. But on the back of a shirt, it's, it's a big uh, motif of a kind of a car, kind of out in the desert. Again, yes, it's a way. It's a way for the Spurs to honor the city, the fan base through this co clothing line. But not just for the Spurs, but for the whole city and the fan base. So keep that in mind. But get this. I found this very interesting. So the whole Provida collection is a culmination of more than a year's worth of research and development and delving into the city of San Antonio, the culture, the art, just pretty much the history of South Central Texas, all reflected in the Provida collection. Uh, again, their goal in this collection is to provide products, create products that could be worn daily, you know, without containing the typical Spurs branding, y'all know, but the appeal will be beyond the fan base. So basically, you know, I could wear this at dinner and it's not blaring like, oh, he's a big Spurs fan or something like that. But at the same time, it does reflect the city, the culture and whatnot. But yeah, it's it's really, really nice. I highly recommend y'all go right now to the Spurs fan shop online or if you're in san antonio i believe the fan shop is open uh, normal business hours go check it out right now this is just one of many pieces in the port vida collection go to the spurs social media they 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 recently put out some more clothes as well i think one was like to celebrate earth day they're constantly providing the fan base with new looks new fresh gear highly recommend you go to the spurs fan shop or just shop online but yeah really really nice you know when i first put it on i was like this is actually pretty good I was looking in the mirror, like, okay, this is a lot better. I was, it was good just hanging on the hanger. But when I put it on myself, I said, okay, you know what? This is not too bad. I mean, look at this, it fits pretty well. So definitely go check it out. Again, it's a new clothing line the Spurs have released called the Por Vida Collection. Go get it right now. Shop online, um, the Spurs fan shop, or if you're in San Antonio, go there right now. We got friends that live in San Antonio, but you live out of state, tell them to go get it for you. You know, have some fun. Christmas, yeah, wish list right there. Put it on your wish list. But go check it out again, the Port Vida collection. So yeah, really, really like it. I, I think I, I think I may wear this out next time I'm hanging out with my friends. So that all right. There is your quick Spurs news and notes. When we get back, we're gonna bring in our guest, Vinny Vincetta, Ken's five. We're gonna be discussing the Spurs to chase LeBron James. Vegas thinks the Spurs have a decent shot. What do you think? What does Vinny think? We're gonna be talking about that and a lot more. That's next on Lockdown Spurs. First, I want to talk to you about Monopoly Go. You got to go get the app right now. Monopoly Go is a fun game. So, yeah, we got to pause. We got to take a pause real fast. Just talk more about Monopoly Go. Look, I know you're thinking flag on the play. You know, you already talked about that stuff. But, hey, there's just so much good stuff in the game. In Monopoly Go, you can team up with friends for pretty much a lot of fun, like time, timed tournaments. We work together to build up each other's boards. What about the fact that the more you win together, the more awesome prizes you unlock. And there's so much to get. Unique stickers you can trade with friends, complete albums, big prizes ahead for you. Cool new places, or at least pieces, playing pieces to use uh, with on the boards. 
What about hilarious emojis for taunting friends when you smash their buildings or heist their vaults? Yeah, Monopoly Go is a fun game to get. Plus, Monopoly Go feels like a new, exciting way to play and pretty much give you excitement every day with constantly changing tournaments and challenges. A ton include own unique mini games uh, like Diggy for Treasure, Robot Pachinko games. I mean, there's so much in it. Look, there's always new timed events that help you win big, like massive multipliers for everything you win or rent frenzies. Yeah, always something fun to discover in Monopoly Go. So get off the bench, download it right now for free on Google Play at the App Store. Game on. Hey, I want to talk to you about Muslinger's drive through Coffee. Go there right now, San Antonio, 2404,000 Oaks Drive. That's in the 281 and 1604 area. They got it all. You need a latte? They got it. You need a cold brew? They got it. You need dairy alternatives? Got that too. What about signature drinks like the Muslinger Signature Coffee? They have that as well. Friendly faces there, good staff, good menu, many donuts that sell out fast. So hurry up and go get you some. Again, at 2404,000 Oaks Drive. What more can I say? They're a proud local sponsor of Locked On Spurs, a proud community member of San Antonio, serving San Antonio the best coffee in the city. And by the way, they also have a line of drinks called Lightning Bolts. That includes the Alien, which is a, kind of a hat tip to Victor Wimbayama. So just a heads up, it's normally made with Red Bull, but they stopped doing that. And the default is going to be Lotus Energy. That's seven power plant extracts um, that they're going to be using in the mix. Now, if you need Red Bull, you want to have it, they'll have that on hand. But the default, again, will be Lotus Energy. That allows you, that allows them to create new drinks, uh, but it'll still keep you powered up throughout the day. It'll still keep you going. It'll give you a quick boost or keep you going. Yeah, the lightning bolt will always be available in Red Bull, but the default was flipped to Lotus Energy. So just a heads up. But again, those drinks will keep you powered up all single day. But yeah, what more can you say? Must Lingers gives San Antonio the best drinks in the city. Go there right now, 24-0-4,000 Oaks Drive. Open every single day from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Go there right now, San Antonio. Follow them on social media at Muslinger SATX because life is too short for a bland coffee. Hey, this is Hot Rod. And I'm RC from Cybertron Spurs. And you're listening to Locked On Spurs with Jeff Garcia. And we're now joined by my colleague at Ken's Five. He is Vinny Vincetta, the Vin Dog. He is back right here on Locked On Spurs. Follow him on X at V Vincetta. Vinny, welcome back to Locked On Spurs. By the way, I know we're going to get into some Vegas odds right now, but I double-checked. Vegas has you as the number one free agent the Spurs are chasing. That's How about I mean, that? Is this new news or what? Let's <laughs> do it. <laughs> we're signing you up, man. Go have that meeting with Brian Wright. Get those millions of dollars. Hey, again, everybody, follow him on X at VVenceta. We're going to be talking about what he does uh, pretty much for Cannes 5 as far as all sports in general. We'll be talking about that in a while. But, yeah, Vinny, case you uh, – we're hiding on the rock, and I know you don't because you're on top of everything. Uh, free agent to be LeBron James um, has his options now. He's no longer tied to the Lakers. Uh, he can go explore, and Vegas is being Vegas right now, and they're saying, okay, let's get the odds going. Who's going to go? Who, who, where can he be taking his talents to next? Now, the Spurs are listed among the top 10 teams. Now, it's not good odds. It's a little over two, plus 2,000 odds, so. It's not astronomical, but the Spurs are part of the group. And it's not just one odds maker. It's several odds makers. They have the Spurs in the mix within that top 10 range. End of the day, should the Spurs go chase the 39-year-old NBA veteran? There are so many facets to this. I don't even know where to start. Like, I don't think it's going to happen, but there are yeah. so many fascinating pros and cons to this. I mean, the Spurs are back on the map just by virtue mm -hmm. of having Wimby, and right. we're easily assuming down the road they'll contend for, for championships, and he's eventually going to be in the Hall of Fame. So you're already out there. Now, mm -hmm. would landing LeBron send you even further into the stratosphere? Yes, of course it would. Mm -hmm. uh, spotlight, uh, countless national oh, yeah. TV games. Uh, but there's a lot of drama, as we all know, yes. that comes with uh, the king, as he is called, rightfully so, the last uh, 20 or so years. And, and as you mentioned, gosh, man, 39 years old. It's, it's yeah. really interesting. He's playing right now at his age, at this age, at a yep. very high clip. Yes. And, and I know people have offered suspicions that's never been associated with him. And I don't think mm -hmm. he's a guy 
that would engage in that sort of activity. So I just think he continues to be a solid piece of muscle and is a machine. Yeah. Um, he's, he's playing really, really well at, at 39 years old, but there's a lot of stuff again that comes with him, Jeff, you know, do I have enough help and do we need more people? Yeah. Am I going to get along with my coach? Although I will say, uh, not getting, getting along with pop would not even be tolerated in San Antonio. Yeah, you will sure. get along with Pop if you come mm -hmm. here. That's, that's the end of you. So there would be no LeBron complaining about the coach or people saying, well, LeBron's the head coach on the floor and he doesn't need Pop. No, Pop is in charge and the head coach here. So that wouldn't be uh, put up with uh, on, on any level. But, uh, you know, when you think about the youth movement and, mm -hmm. and the free agents and the draft capital, I know Wimby has said he's all about winning right now. Mm -hmm. I get that. But – I'm, I'm comfortable saying that they're a playoff team next season. Now, I don't know how far they're going to go, but I think they're going to be in the playoffs next season. So wow. I, I'm going to, I'm going to say that uh, it's not, it's not a move that uh, they need to make. And by the way, we discussed this off air before we started. I haven't seen any Spurs fan group. that has been an overwhelming. Yes. It's been overwhelming. No, yeah. do it's not no. bring him here. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, I guess you joined Magic Johnson in that belief that Spurs will be a playoff team next year. That's quick. That That's tweet, everybody going, by the way. Yeah, yeah. That 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 I mean, think about it. In the West, you have to be sniffing 45, 44 wins plus just to get the play in. The play in, Vinny. I mean, where the Warriors got into playing at with 46 wins. That's a I mean, and, Spurs, and my, Spurs would have to make. Am I expecting a big leap? I I guess. Yeah, I, I guess I am. Um, I just it, it feels like they should be a playoff team next year. Like I can't really imagine yeah. going through this again. But yeah. I, I think I think you're in the I think you're in the in the in the part of the conversation that you don't think there'll be a playoff team next year. No, no, I don't. I don't think there'd be a playoff team. I, I think the West is just so stacked, so stacked. We, I mean, we know the usual suspects will be there: Dallas, Denver. Uh, who am I missing? Uh, who's in the West? I'm sorry, I'm a blank. John Blank. Oh, we can't forget in Memphis. John Morant will be back, so we'll see what they do. Oklahoma uh, City. Oklahoma City will be there. So there's really, really four teams. Remember, the Spurs got to leap into, the, well, to solidify its playoff spot. It's one through six, but they can get into play in now. That that's that's. I think they'll. I think they'll be knocking on the play in door, kind of like Houston was this past season. Houston was just knocking on the door, just couldn't get in. I think I can see the Spurs doing that. But real quick, just to clarify here. Now, the odds makers is from Bovada Sportsbook. They got the uh, Spurs with the 10th best odds at landing, James. This is where, you know, they're top 10, but the odds are not that good, plus 2,800. So the wow. top three teams that Vegas projects where he could land, staying with the Lakers, minus 200. That's the, you know, that's the going, the number one spot there. Cavs uh, going back home. Plus five hundred, and then seventy sixers plus eight hundred. Those are the top three teams that Vegas thinks LeBron will stay. But you know, I, I look at the I look at LeBron James himself. I mean, Vinny doesn't he check the boxes though? Don't the Spurs need veteran presence, championship presence? You know, a floor general. You know, somebody who will command that that locker room, that floor. No knock on you know the veterans they had this past season from McDermott to Graham and Osmond, but. They're not that type of veteran. I mean, he loves to play with Pop. You mentioned it right now. And Spurs fans can't use, well, he's 39 years old because he's past his prime. It looks like he never left his prime. He's still in it. So, Vinny, he checks the boxes, doesn't he? He still gets downhill like a linebacker and can finish at the rim. And he's shooting at a high clip. And all those, yes, Jeff, all those intangibles are there. He, there's no doubt he checks every box uh, you want. I, I just... I just feel like I don't know. I yeah. Just feel yeah. like continuing to build this thing. Like, would he want to come be part of something that's not yet quite there at his age? Mm -hmm. um, but no, I mean, no. I mean, it would it would send this place into, uh, as oh, I yeah. mentioned before, the stratosphere. I mean, mm -hmm. this would be the conversation. This would be the NBA team to have mm -hmm. Ron James pair with Victor Wembanyama and, uh, yeah. and and everybody else. I mean, it's a fascinating thought. What's interesting is every morning that I've gotten up since they were eliminated uh, by the Nuggets, I've gotten these Vegas emails, not only about the King, but about Kevin Durant and about yeah. who's the third. I'm drawing a blank now, 
but um, anyway, uh, those 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 Vegas emails have uh, other players uh, in the Spurs mm-hmm. top top three or five. One of those teams. I think, I think Steph Curry's in that mix too, right? They're in every conversation. The Spurs yeah. are in every odds conversation to land all the big yeah. fish this off season. So it's going to be it's going to be really fascinating. I mean, might LeBron want to say? Why not? Why not go play yeah. with a guy like Victor? I could totally see that. Um, yeah. But, you know, would LeBron want to be the the definite number one or would he accept kind of a, a one kind of a one B knowing that Victor yeah. is your one A? Yeah. Yeah. And and I think that's that's the rub there. You know, will he take a lesser role? He'll still be one of the commanding if the Spurs were to do it. And you know, in some alternate multi universe we enter, you know, he will still have to command the ball. You know, Victor will have to understand that that's LeBron James, but at the same time, it's Victor's team. So LeBron will have to understand that it could be maybe too many cooks in the kitchen. But look, look, we were talking about like how he's not even past his prime yet. This was in, this is what he did last year, Vinny, in the regular season for the Lakers 25.7 points per game, 8.3 assists, 7.3 rebounds in the regular season. Now, in the postseason, uh, 27.8 points per game, it went up. 8.8 assists, it went up, and 6.8 rebounds that went down a little bit. But nevertheless, still putting up good numbers. Ultimately, I think he probably wants me. I mean, he look, he shows no sign of signs of slowing down. But if he thinks this might be the tail end of his career, Vinny, he may be looking for uh, one last big check before he calls it a day. That or one last run with a roster that he feels like can get to the NBA finals. Yeah. Uh, Father time's going to eventually catch yeah, up. It'll catch up to him. While, yeah. while it doesn't look like it's happening presently, uh, it, it's going to happen. I mean, there's no, you know, as the, the running joke, father time is undefeated. So that's going to, mm-hmm. that's going to happen for sure. But uh, I, I just know this, I might have to come back from vacation early. If something happens like LeBron James <laughs> announces that he's going to sign a free agent deal yeah. with San Antonio, this place would go, insane it'll go crazy yeah <laughs> it'll be just uh bonkers in san antonio i mean tv audiences will spike up ratings will spike up ticket sales will probably go through the roof merchandise oh, will be yeah. i mean it, 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 it it'll it'll just be crazy ultimately i don't think it'll happen uh because uh, maybe not solely because of this but outside of the massive attraction and attention the Spurs will get. I mean, Wimby's getting hit already now. We throw in King James to triple that. But what about this element? Bronny James. Bronny James. He says he wants to play with his son before he calls it a day. Uh, There are reports out there that the Lakers will do everything, including drafting Bronny or making a deal for Bronny. Um, What if, you know, and, and I don't think, I just don't think the Spurs will waste one of their picks on Bronny James. Bronny couldn't crack the top five at USC. And I, I believe he's, hasn't he already withdrawn his name from draft consideration or is he back? Right. Right. Yeah. I believe so, he did. I, 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 yeah. I don't know that, that, that seems like a stretch to me, but that would be just another all world earth shattering moment. If the Spurs were to uh, make that kind of a deal to happen to get yeah, both those guys here on top of, on top of Victor. But by the way, Paul George was the other free agent. I was thinking okay. of, LeBron, PG, and, and KD. I've seen them uh, uh, listed yeah. on the uh, odds for future teams, and the Spurs being high on all three of those guys. Lists. We, we, you know what? That that's that's the Wimby effect. Think about that. That's really the Wimby effect. Those type of players that probably would want to play with a guy like Victor in San Antonio. I think that's part of it as well. Also, too, the Spurs have a massive amount of financial cap space. Uh, they got the promising player, you know, you know, Wimby. They got Pop is still there. So it does seem like an attractive destination, but you're right. Those guys you just rattled off right now, those names, I just don't see them being part of a rebuild. Now it'd be different if the Spurs were maybe exiting out their re- the rebuild. Like they're right there. They're they're like OKC before they're OKC this year, like the couple years before, and they're the missing piece. Like you know, Paul George, you're the missing piece. LeBron James, you're the missing piece, and this will vault us into the top six, top three teams in the West. I think then they'll do it. But right now, Vinny, the rebuild, rebuild is still in its infancy. Still going for sure. And, yeah. and with all the all the draft capital and, and development that's uh, going on with the current roster, I mean, they're not in a bad place. And mm-hmm. and I think, I think everybody still needs to exercise some patience, even mm-hmm. though 
even though I'm going to hold firm, I, I expect a, 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 a leap next year and uh, a, kind of an impressive one. I, I expect, yeah. you know, I, I don't see another 22 and 60 season. Uh, okay. You know, I expect them to get into the, to the high thirties, maybe crack those low forties. I just, mm -hmm. I think it's time the learning curve move. And um, yep. I just go back to media day last year and they no. kept saying, they kept saying, yeah, as much as this yeah. is about development and yeah. cases, the season needs to be about winning. I mean, everybody said sure. that last, last yep, year. Everybody said that. Yeah. The season needs to be about winning and, and it, and it couldn't have been even, even off more. Uh, it was not about winning as it turned out, mm -hmm. but I think because everybody said that last year, Really, now we're entering a phase uh, with this with this program where it needs to really definitely be uh, about winning uh, year in and year out. And I just it's, it's going to be an, a really curious off season. It really, 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 really is. is. Can't, can't wait. Yeah, exactly. And you, you know, you got the draft lottery right around the corner. The draft itself. Once the season's over, then they can start trading dealing wheeling all that good stuff we'll see yeah the spurs can make major moves they have the ability to do major moves or they can do those very spurs like moves those under the radar signings and acquisitions so the spurs definitely have options and one option and right now is lebron james if they want to go that route i, I don't think they will i think no i don't think they will uh, also, I don't think they will. I think they want to continue the rebuild, bring in young players or young veteran players. That makes sense. Uh, and add them to the mix. But LeBron James in Spurs uniform, that'd be interesting. Maybe they know, they'll need to fix the uh, AC at the Frost Center before he comes in. We don't I want saw, any cramps. Yeah. I, I saw a meme of that the other day. People are already having fun with that. Uh, again, that was uh, that was kind of funny. Here, here's what I think. I, I think that a, a door is about to open where – the Spurs are going to become a free agent destination like never before. Like it yep. feels like to me, like because of Victor and, and we've seen the potential and where he's going to go, it feels like Jeff that every summer and whether or not they have the money or the space or the roster or whatever, it just seems like every summer there are going to be guys that are going to say, me, 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 can I, can I come to San Antonio and play with that guy? Yeah. I mean, he's that good. He's going to change yeah. the game and the culture that much that I think everybody will – at some point, if when they're available, we'll, we'll want a piece and want to come to San Antonio. It feels like that anyway. Absolutely. But, uh, yeah, it looks like uh, Vinny is saying pass on LeBron. Pass. I'm agreeing with him. Yeah, I'm, I think you should pass. All right, when we uh, get back, we're going to be discussing you guys. What are you all talking about? Well, your reactions to LeBron James coming to San – well, let me rephrase that. The possibility, at least Vegas thinks, the Spurs are in the mix to land his services. That's next on Lockdown Spurs. But first, I want to talk about eBay Motors, passion, drive, patience. That's the winning formula for championships. It's also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. You need superchargers, you need roof racks, you need exhaust kits, you need LED headlights, and so much more. Well, eBay Motors has you covered. So whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has everything you need. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with the eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with the eBay Motors, you're not burning, uh, well, you're just not burning all your cash. You know, you'd be burning rubber. So with all the parts you need and the prices you want, it's easy to make your car into the MVP and bring home huge wins keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com that's ebaymotors.com eligible items only exclusions apply ebay guaranteed fit is only available to u.s customers and we're back right here on lockdown sports with vinnie vincetta he is my colleague at ken's five make sure to follow him on x at vinnie v vincetta he is the dog the vin dog and he'll be discussing what he is doing uh, out and about in San Antonio when it comes to the world or at least the citywide sports scene and maybe beyond. Well, well he already said because I think a big soccer game is coming to San Antonio, Vinny. I don't know if you heard the news uh, heard to it. the Alamo Dome. Yeah. But we're talking about Vegas odds makers. They believe the Spurs are among the top 10 teams where LeBron James will take his talents to next season. Granted, they're big odds, but they're there. And you guys, the Spurs fans, Ken's 5 Plus viewers, and Fans are reacting to it. Or Vinny, let's dive into it now. Heads up. I, I'm not kidding, Vinny. This is how many reactions we have on the Ken's 5 Facebook page regarding the article that's up right now, you know, about James Vegas odds. 
uh, 126 comments. People are reacting big time. Everybody has an opinion on this. Yep. 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 Everybody has an opinion on this. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to read 126 comments. So we'll just spend two and uh, see what you guys are talking about. All right. So first comment, Vinny, is from Chuck Allen on the Ken's 5 Facebook page. He says, seems like the fans have clearly spoken. Almost everyone says that we don't want him. That can only mean one thing. LeBron will somehow end up on the Spurs next season. So <laughs> yeah. uh, it looks like the fans are, but overall, I mean, he's making a point. He's being funny. But the point is, yeah, I mean, we talked about it. The overwhelming sentiment from the fan base is no pass on LBJ. So I think they agree with you and me, Vinny. Oh, I haven't looked at any uh, social media site where this topic yeah. has come up where the vast majority uh, haven't been, no, 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 we don't need this guy here. We, we're, we're, we're on our way back. Uh, we're yeah. building this thing the right way and uh, no time to bring him in here. Although I will, I will interrupt myself and say uh, if Spurs brass feels like bringing LeBron in is the right move, they're not going to ask the fan base what they think. They're going to bring in LeBron James. Uh, yeah. so we, know where the yeah. fan, we know where the fans are. Uh, time will tell where Brian Wright and the Greg Popovich are. All right. The next comment is from uh, Mundo Cardo Cardoza. Uh, again, he left a comment on the Ken's 5 Facebook page regarding the article that's up right now, Ken's 5.com slash Spurs. Uh, James and the uh, biggest odd makers. He says, Mr. Mundo says, Vinny, please keep him, LeBron James, off this team. This is where it gets interesting. There will be no progress for Wimbayama going forward. What about that idea? That James, if that were to happen in some old ulterior dimension, you know, other multiverse thing, LeBron lands in San Antonio, and then there's Wimby and James, yay! But Mundo says that ain't gonna work because it'll stunt Wimby. Your thoughts? Yeah, I think that one's a little bit of a far reach there because I think okay. that he would know going in. Uh, that Wimby is the future and the guy. And I obviously, I believe that conversations would have to be had between LeBron and his team and, and the Spurs and Wimby, and everybody would need to be on the same page because I, I saw you shaking your head earlier when I was making the point that LeBron might need to understand that he's a 1B to mm -hmm. Wimby's 1A. So yeah. I don't think – I'm going to give LeBron James credit here. I don't. I think he knows better and would never come in here thinking that he needs to take over and yeah. tell to take a step back that that's nonsense that would never happen yeah the other thing too i just thought about this right now as we were talking this out what if he sees wimby as a path to extend his career even further than what it is now you know where he doesn't have to carry the load as we see in los angeles or we saw in cleveland that being attached to wimby extends his career longer i think then, that's something to think about then that's a reason to come i yeah. think that's a, i think that's a fair point yeah you don't you yeah. don't have to be you know, you are the king. You've been the face of the league for two decades. We we get all that, but yeah, if you if you're willing to embrace that type of role, then it might actually work. But again, LeBron is LeBron. I don't think he's willing to really pass that baton just yet. Yeah, like wherever he goes, he's the guy. But I would give LeBron a lot of credit if he came here and said, "I know." Like, can you imagine if LeBron? came to San Antonio and had his introductory press conference and said, I understand that I'm not the guy. I'm mm. I'm just kind of here to help guide the process. That would be shocking mm. to hear him say. But if he said it uh, and he wanted to be paired with Wimby and Devin and Sohan, whoo, <laughs> could, could be yeah. something cool to watch. Yeah, yeah. Then then maybe uh, your prediction or your thought about the Spurs making the playoffs would definitely come <laughs> true. I mean, that, that definitely will bolster that argument all right thank you all for reacting to uh lebron james odds maker spurs you know it's a fun thing to talk about look everybody it's the off season i gotta think of something here i want to talk spurs okay but this is still a good thing because the spurs roster is in transition you know it is and these are the options the spurs can do we all know they have multitude of assets from players to contracts to cap space they can make things happen so this is it's just another avenue we're exploring right here on locked on spurs he is vinnie vincetta vinnie tell us what's going on in the well in the citywide sports scene a lot on the high school scene we've got the uh, state track meet uh over the weekend uh up in austin we're we're uh, getting deep into uh, high school baseball, softball uh, playoffs to see who can make the state tournament there. Uh, I spent some time over at UTSA. They've launched this new amazing video production control room to help all their spring sports get a little more TV nice. time 
like uh, basketball, uh, I guess even a fall sport like volleyball, soccer, uh, things like that. And so that's kind of state of the art. And they're putting a lot of dollars into getting their teams and their athletes mm -hmm. on, on the airwaves. And I'm going to visit next week with the executive director of the Final Four Committee here in San Antonio. I know it's uh, a little less than a year away now, but it's amazing the work that goes in to putting a Final Four together. And we're mm -hmm. one of the great host cities along with the New Orleans and, and the Phoenixes of the world. Mm -hmm. So it's great to have the final four back. So I'll have that visit coming coming up in the coming days as well. Yeah. By the way, Vinny, I don't know if you heard or saw it, but Charles Barkley already warned San Antonio he's coming next year. Oh, really? Yeah. I, well, yes. and he took he took another shot at our our yeah, lovely class shot San Antonio. Yes. So he, he can't ever graduate from that. But uh, yeah, he was when he gets when he gets gets on a roll. San Antonio always comes up in any conversation. Yeah. That's what I'm Exactly. But hey, for all things sports in the city, from the Spurs or Cowboys High School, pick a sport. Vinny has your back. Make sure to follow him on X at V Vincenzo. You want to do that right now. We'll be back next week talking all things silver and black as the offseason continues. I don't know who the guest will be yet as of now, but I'm pretty sure we'll have a great guest. And as always, we appreciate you for checking out Lockdown Spurs and subscribing wherever you get your favorite podcast. So for Vinny Vincenzo, I am Jeff Garcia. We're going to put a lock in this episode of Lockdown Spurs.